At the beginning of the 7th century, Buddhist temples emerged as the center of religious, social, and political life throughout Japan. In the 8th century, the city of Nara was the capital of Japan and a major center for Buddhism. The court and nobility built lavish temple complexes, creating demand for religious objects and statuary. Sculptures were commissioned to adorn these temples as a way of earning merit while outwardly showing wealth and power to rival clans. One of these sites was Kofukuji, the temple complex of the powerful Fujiwara family. Historians speculate that these sculptures of Bonten and Taishakuten, which are now part of the collection of the Asian Art Museum, were originally made for Kofukuji. Also known by their Sanskrit names, Brahma and Indra, they date from the 700s and are a rare example of hollow dry lacquer sculpture. They were possibly part of a group of statues installed in the temple's Western Golden Hall. The Western Golden Hall was destroyed by fire in 1717, but we can take a look inside the surviving Eastern Golden Hall to get a sense of how these sculptures might have been arranged on the altar. The building uh, burnt down a total of five times, so we are actually standing right now in the sixth Eastern Golden Hall. The altar would have been even more crowded. There would have probably been something like 40 images packed on this altar. So it's very lively, <laughs> very sort of closely packed. And this, I think, is really a typical for the Nara period, and it's something that goes out of fashion later on. Brahma and Indra are not worshipped independently in a Buddhist context, but they are part of the larger narrative. Um, and in that sense, um, they sort of fill in the big picture, I think. And uh, their presence in that sense, I think, is absolutely essential to a Buddhist altar in a complete fashion. They are always found either as attendants to a Buddha, right? And in that sense, uh, in that context, they're usually understood to be protectors of the Buddhist faith, but also assistants of that particular Buddha. Over the span of 1300 years, Kofukuji Temple Complex burned to the ground many times, and yet some of the sculptures were able to survive throughout these destructive fires. When temple buildings caught fire, the first impulse of the priests was to rescue the images and let the building burn. The idea was you could always reconstruct the building. And for that reason, perhaps, a lot of the older images that survive in Japan today are small and they are light. And when it comes to images such as the Bonten Taishakten, they are actually both. When a fire breaks out, even if there is not a lot of time, uh, these images can be taken out of the building very quickly. Not only does that ensure that they survive, it also ensures that they survive in a fairly good condition because they don't have to be taken apart. They can be carried as a whole. In the late 19th and early 20th century, Kofukuji began to fall into severe economic decline. Buddhism fell out of political favor, leading to financial difficulties and forcing the temple to sell off many of its sacred objects. The temple was essentially abandoned. There was a time when there was not a single priest in the precincts, and all remaining temple property, buildings, land, was seized by the government. So what had once been a Buddha hall was a police station for a while. Uh, some of the buildings were sold for scrap as lumber. A lot of the images left the temple, and so it was a, a very dark period in the temple's history. Today, Kofukuji Temple is the headquarters for the Hoso School of Buddhism. It is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and remains one of the most historically important Buddhist temples in Japan. Thank you.